Dan, over here on the right. I don't know where raise a hand. <laughs> uh, Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, Jamal, uh, first game you saw a few different kinds of coverages. You saw a lot more of Jimmy in game two. I'm wondering what your mentality is when you see that you have that more length on you, him as an individual defender, what kind of challenges he poses for you? The mentality is the same. Um, I've seen a lot of defenders throughout my career. Um, Jimmy's a good defender. Um, got great hands, anticipation. Obviously, he's, he's a little taller than me. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to beat it, but I got my ways. Um, just got to keep him guessing and keep him working. You know, just because he's on me doesn't mean I can't be a part of the play or not put pressure on the defense. Um, I thought I had some really good looks throughout the game, just missed him. Um, That's all I got. Yeah. Mark, here, over here. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. What I really want to know is what's the best flavor of Starburst, but <laughs> strawberry? All right. <laughs> not orange. Okay. No. No, not even close. <laughs> what basketball question is uh, you guys have talked all season about communicating with one another, not just on the floor, but between games and being really open to and taking – uh, responsibility and accountability. Um, Coach Malone's talked about everybody talking uh, at team meeting today or in, and going to team dinner. How much does that help in a situation like this where you're 1 1? Yeah, it helps a lot. Um, Jeff took us to team dinner last night at his house um, all the way out in Narnia. Um, but it was a good vibe, you know, just to have everybody there, forgetting about the last game, knowing that we're. Here as a team, as a family, trying to get some, trying to accomplish something, uh, means a lot. So, a lot of it is a mentality for me. You know, that, you know I me. Mean? I just like to keep a right mindset. So when everybody's in a good spirit and even come off a loss, I think that's huge. So shout out to Jeff um, for getting that team activity together, and everybody in film. I think coach did a good job of just making everybody speak up and um, give their own thoughts. And if we all dis if we disagree, then we can talk it out. You know. So uh, I think we it was a positive. It's been a positive since the loss. Vince, back left. Vince Goa, Yahoo Sports. Jamal, you guys have had sizable leads going into the fourth quarter of both games, one and two. When you look at the film or you just being on, on the floor doing your own sort of dissection, does tightness play a role into any of the or indecision or Miami zone? Can you pinpoint one thing or another that's led to – Controlling the game in the first three quarters and Miami sort of storming their way back. Tightness like, tightness like what? Playing tight, maybe being a little indecisive, not being as crisp, flowing, that sort of. Not, not like a nervousness, not a choking thing, but just a little indecision, tightness. No, if, well, if you watch the first quarter, first three minutes of the first quarter last game, it was all our mistakes. You know, if they go small, small, we didn't switch it and led to open three. Um, I think it happened twice. They got two threes, and then uh, might have been a might have. I think Gabe hit a pull up between me and KSP. We didn't switch, you know. So like, those are all our mistakes. Those are all our our doings. Um, as bad as we played in the first quarter, we're down three at the end of it. As bad as we played to start the third, we were up. I forget, but we're up by a little bit, you know. So like, it's just putting together 48 minutes. Um, has nothing to do with, with tightness. We're not playing well, and, and we're, we were still in control of the game, it felt like. Uh, we just got to be able to, like I said, put together 48 minutes and um, and trust each other down the stretch, you know. So, um, yeah. Tony, over here. Uh, Jamal, Tony Jones from The Athletic. Piggybacking off of an earlier question, what did you think, you know, just specifically of your individual right. balance uh, that you played with in game two? Do you feel that you were aggressive enough um, in, in offensively against Jimmy? If you were, you know, what are some of the things that you can do in game three? If you weren't, what are some of the things that you can do in game three? Um, yeah, I mean, making shots is one. Um, I thought my aggressiveness was fine. You know, aggressiveness is not just shooting the ball. You know, if I'm getting downhill and, and making a pass to the, another guy that's open and that's that's me being aggressive. Um, so I think the game calls for some games call for different types of um, plays, you know. So I remember the Lakers series was up and down. Guys were as we're flying, 
um, off stops. Phoenix, both teams were, were running and gunning. This this series is more of a execution defensive game, um, and we gotta you know stay spaced and stay organized and um, be more deliberate in our offense and in our defense what we're trying to take away. You know, so um, it's, I, it's a team sport. It's not really about me. But you know, I was aggressive in, in making my drives and making my reads off, off rebounds, pushing the ball in transition, so just picking my spots and not forcing. Um, thought I had some good looks that didn't go down. But like I said, we didn't. We could have played a lot better. We could have played a lot better and got the job done. We just uh, had some lapses that we had to come back from, and um, that didn't help us. Ohm in the front. Omi, I'm like ESPN. Jamal, you were just talking about mentality. From a shooter mentality standpoint, is there anything you see or you say to Michael about the shots he's getting? Because it looks like a lot of them are good looks. Keep shooting. I'm going to keep running, running plays for him, especially during the game, just uh, so you can see one go in. But we want to keep shooting and play aggressive. Not just shoot the ball, but be aggressive. If it's not there, you know, go to the rim. Um, if the pass is open, pass it. You know, So um, I think he'll be fine. You know, Mike's, a, Mike's, a, Mike's a next shooter, next shot mentality kind of guy. I think he'll be fine. And, um, I'll find a way to get him going in game three. Final two questions right here and in the back. Hey, Jamal. Jose from Drafteados, Spain. Bam Adebayo just told us the best advice he received uh, for the finals was from D-Wade in 2020. Can you tell us the best advice that you received for these finals and who gave it to you? Um, I mean, I think I haven't really... Probably just talking to my family, just realizing where we came from um, and how, how much work it, take, it took to get here. Uh, just realizing the opportunity and um, I probably see my family, my dad, uh, all my friends back home, you know, everybody is supporting from my hometown, especially um, a small, small place called Kitchener. Um, just to take advantage of the opportunity that this is something that personally I've been dreaming about as a kid. So I'll say that's the one that's resonated the most and um, realizing the opportunity. Last question in the back. Hey, Jamal. Rob Mahoney from The Ringer. Uh, with you and Nicola, Coach Malone, the guys on the team who have been here for, for a minute, you've had time to, to grow together. Do you have points of reference for a moment like this? This is obviously a huge stage, you know, a 1-1 series. What do you turn to in terms of your experiences playing, coaching, working together for a moment like this one? Um, we've always been a resilient team. You know, We've always had that. And um, we've always had that chemistry. That's one of our biggest advantages are, is our chemistry and how long we've been playing together, uh, the continuity that we have, the reads that we make uh, on the fly, no matter what the defense is doing. Um, I'd say just as long as we stay together and have that bounce back mentality, uh, we'll be fine. You know, we've, we've been in in, um, in positions like this before. I mean, it's the first loss in seven games, I think. So like we're, we're not doing a bad job. We just got to refocus. Um, sharpen the mentality, and um, like I said, be more deliberate on both ends of the floor, and we'll be fine. Thank you, Jamal. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone.